name is Lori Vogt. My company name is Mighty Mangroves. Um, I'm qualified as a professional mangrove trimmer as an ISA certified arborist. We're here at Rickery Bay to conduct a, an exempt uh, mangrove trimming in a view window configuration. We've received authorization from FDEP in the form of an exemption verification so that we can conduct these activities without a permit and uh, conduct view window trimming with my associate Cesar Peralta. We're going to, um, we're going to first identify non-mangrove species and remove those and then conduct mangrove trimming under the guidelines of the 1996 Mangrove Trimming and Preservation Act. Hi, my name is Cesar Peralta. I'm the regional coordinator for the Green Industries Best Management Practices Program. This is a department of the UF IFAS uh, FFL GIBMP department. I'm going to be working with Lori doing a demonstration on how to properly do a window cut in this area behind me. We're going to identify no mangrove species and mangrove species so we can obtain this goal. And here we have a measuring stick. It's a very important tool uh, to cut the mangroves because we have a permit to cut them between 6 and 10 feet. And we need to measure from the substrate, which is the ground, uh, from the ground up 6 feet and uh, 10 feet on the top mark. Again, this is a very important tool that we're going to be using when we cut the mangroves. Now, when we are not cutting the non-mangrove species, we will not need to worry about the height because they can be uh, freely cut. First, we'd like to begin by removing non-mangrove species. Some of these are native, some are not. Uh, in this area in particular, they are all native because exotic removal has been maintained. This is a non-mangrove species called coin vine that weaves itself through the mangroves. For this species, we're not concerned about the height of our cutting, so we can cut it anywhere. Another of our non-mangrove species is the cabbage palm or sable palmetto. And this one is just the right height that it's inside our uh, mangrove view window that we'd like to trim. So since it's a non-native species, or since it's a non-mangrove species, we're able to remove that where we need to and make a cut where appropriate. This is a green buttonwood. Uh, the green buttonwood is not considered a mangrove in Florida. It is considered a mangrove in places such as Puerto Rico. But uh, you can tell the difference because the leaf pattern is different. In this one, they have alternate leaves. They see how they alternate. And in the white mangrove, uh, they are All opposite. This. So, um, but they still have the same salt valves on the lower part of the leaf. So be very careful. Uh, you need to uh, make sure that when you're uh, cutting a buttonwood, that it is a buttonwood and not a white mangrove. Another non-mangrove native species is Myrcene. We're able to cut this Myrcene. It's uh, located within our view window, and we're able to cut it where we'd like to. For this particular cut, I'm going to make it generally six feet so that it matches our height window. We just made a cut on this pond apple. It's another uh, non-mangrove associate found in the mangroves. Pond apples are water dependent. Uh, we just made a cut on this to get it removed from our six to 10 foot view window. And in this mangrove area, we can find no mangrove species uh, such as a mango tree right here. We're gonna be deciding later if we're gonna be cutting it or not. Another non-mangrove coastal native is the sea grape. Sea grape can be cut um, accordingly. If it's inside of our view window, we're going to cut it as needed. Another native non-mangrove species is the oak tree. For this oak tree, there seems to be a lot of epicormic shoots coming out. So in this particular example, we'd like to cut all of these shoots so that we can see through the trunk of the tree. We begin by removing our non-mangrove associates and eventually we'll get to our white mangrove trimming. This white mangrove here 
uh, will be trimmed in the six foot to 10 foot window. Now we're going to make a cut on this white mangrove. It's important to note that the mangrove regulations require that no more than 25% foliage is removed from each tree annually. So we're going to make three cuts here, right about six feet. Uh, what will happen after these cuts is the white mangroves will shoot out and it will establish the bottom six feet of our view window. We cleaned up coin vine and other vegetation. Uh, this enables the red mangroves to naturally recruit into this shoreline. They drop off of the trees in late summer and are live seed and they float in with the tides and they gradually land up on the correct elevation at which they'll grow. And a good example of this is the red mangroves that have recruited into here. This mangrove trimming project was conducted by trimming non-mangrove native vegetation and then seeing what mangroves were left and then trimming them using 25% foliage removal annually trimming. The view window was between 6 and 10 feet and we're now finished with it.